afternoon. Where's, where's Brenda? Not here. She had a business meeting at the Cartulo main offices. The Cartulo security people took her yeah, okay, over. Okay, that's fine, but that wasn't the agreement. I told Brenda she doesn't go anywhere without me. Spinelli, you're still here. That was set up. What are you hiding from me? No, no, nothing. I was just perusing. Perusing what? Get me wrong. I consider Brenda a close friend. I, I really care about her. And I appreciate the work she does for us for ASAP. Yeah, but Brenda's not going to do anybody any good if she's dead. Well, I have told her that repeatedly. Brenda either can't or won't hear me on the subject of her personal security. Maybe she'll listen to you. Well, are you kidding me? Brenda doesn't listen to anybody. You sound irritated. Well, Brenda's irritating. Well, clearly you're not smitten. Cartulo Security, they deal with overzealous paparazzi, stalkers. They pretty much do crowd control. There's no way they're prepared for what Brenda's up against. Well, then, it's uh, fortunate that her mysterious new man is here to protect her. The Jekyll's cyber work is, is, is sensitive and, and, and classified. Does that mean you don't trust me? N no, no, no. Trust is, is not the issue. I, I, I can't allow Fair Samantha to risk her safety by becoming embroiled. Really? Because most of the sites you hack into are numbers and symbols. How could I be at risk if I don't even know what I'm looking at? This one is more descriptive. It's more visual. Okay, well, whatever it is, it's got you spinning. Um... Yeah, I think I'm in need of some nourishment. Hmm. Barbecue chips are and so did you. Can Remy, you join me? No, you go ahead. <sighs> no, 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 no. What? A access to Come. damning information must be restricted to those in need of protecting. I, I don't I don't need to be protected. I need to know whatever it is you're working so hard not to show me. Please just Just why trust me on this one? Spinelli, whatever it is. I can take it. I'm a big girl. Come on. care that I took Brenda to that party. Well, in the mind of the public, Brenda is still Murphy Sinclair's girl. To hear that she's on the arm of some mysterious stranger who it's rumored happens to be her ex-husband. That's the kind of publicity you can't buy. Who would want to? Anyone who has a stake in keeping Brenda's high profile. Cartulo, ASEC. Okay, so how does me taking Brenda to that party help your charity? Well, it's a fairly simple formula. People love reading about the lives of the rich and famous. They always have. But on the other hand, who wants to see a bunch of children who've been virtually enslaved? It's uncomfortable and depressing. You don't want to think about it too much because, not out of cruelty or indifference, but it makes you sad. So, the best way to draw attention and to shine a light on hidden problems is to get one of those rich and famous people and show them paying attention. Like Brenda. Like Brenda. And Murphy. Before they broke up, he went with her on a trip. Seeing them walking the streets of a slum made people sit up and take notice. And when people take notice, they oftentimes take action. They make donations. They get involved. Because if Brenda and Murphy are involved, then helping children through ASEC must be a pretty cool thing to do. So this is uh, all good for your charity. Oh. I couldn't ask for any better. Not only do you know how to manage Brenda, but you've made her more famous than she already was. This must be like a dagger to fair Samantha's heart. But what man could resist the divine Brenda? I mean, what hero wouldn't rush to her rescue? Right. Look at the picture. No, don't torture yourself. Right, stop, really. Look at the picture without projecting your own 
weird Brenda fantasy. Now, does this remotely look like the Jason we know? He's in a tuxedo. He hates wearing tuxedos. He's actually getting this picture taken. He's like the most private person we know. Maybe Brenda just has that effect on people. Look, again, she is a model. She's a famous person. This is a photo op. Red carpet event or something. Poor Jason's trapped in this cummerbund and tie. I kind of feel bad for him, actually. I'm just saying. Hey, hi. So, is Jason on his way home? <laughs> uh, he has yet to advise us of his return. Uh, his former spouse um, is obviously still requiring his presence. Hmm. Huh. Wonder what self-made drama Brenda's gotten Jason involved in this time. I mean, what kind of trouble has Brenda gotten herself into that Murphy St. Clair and all his bodyguards can't get her out of? I don't know. Use your imagination. The, the divine Brenda appears to have been targeted by forces most sinister, thus necessitating Stone Cold's hands-on involvement, as it were. Okay, you need a reality check about Brenda because she is selfish and needy. Yeah. Okay, no, no doubt the Valkyrie is concerned about Stone Cold's welfare, hence the less than charitable attitude towards the fairest of the fair. Uh, you guys, Jason felt obligated. She needed him. He went. Big deal. But to do what exactly? Well, I don't know. Whatever is necessary. Yeah, and Brenda is appreciative. Yes. See for yourself. Cartillo has made generous endowments to ASEC. They cover the cost of Brenda's accommodations or travel, her security. What, what about Interpol? What's going on with that? Well, we've been dealing with a agent, Derek Bates, but he seems more focused on catching this Balkan character than he does on protecting Brenda. Who is it? Murphy. Guessing you're the ex-husband? Right, aren't I? Brenda's ex-husband? Uh, Murphy, this is, uh, Jason Morgan. Jason, this is Murphy Sinclair, Brenda's ex-fiancé. Nice to meet you. You here to see Brenda? No, I'm here to see you. Think it, uh, Brenda's not here right now? She's at a meeting at Cartulo. Well, great. Then, uh, maybe Jason and I can have a conversation. Thanks, Dax. I thought you were, uh, supposed to be shooting in London. I'm going back in a couple hours. I just thought this might be my one opportunity to meet the other man in Brenda's life. You know, she told me a lot about you. You're kidding. She never said one word to me about Jason. I, I, I still don't even know why she put him down as her emergency contact. She thought I wouldn't care if she died. Would you? Brenda's not going to die, so it doesn't matter. You know, Suzanne, you don't have to hang out and referee this thing. It's not like Jason and I are going to fight. Well, you better not. I play an assassin in the movies. I'm not one in real life. You don't get it. You're the one I'm worried about. Would you let me talk to the man? <sighs> so what are your plans with Brenda? I'm just trying to make sure somebody doesn't kill her. Well, great. That's what I want for her, too. But I'm thinking more about you and her as a couple. What does the future hold for you? Hey, I was in the neighborhood when I got your message. What's up? <sighs> yeah, I know. I've seen it. Oh, you've seen it? Mm-hmm. Well, do you know anything about it? <laughs> Brenda's really not a topic of conversation I want to discuss with you. I just want to know what's going on in Rome. I don't know. It looks like a red carpet event or something. Jason would rather pluck his own fingernails and go to a red carpet event. I think we both know that. Brenda's in trouble. Again. Does it have something to do with Sonny's trip to Rome? I don't... Uh, I don't know. Brenda put Jason down as an, an emergency contact, and then he got a call from the director of the charity that she's working for saying that she needed some help. 
Judging by this picture, it's hard to believe that Brenda's in dire straits. Well, all I know is what I was told, and I trust the man that told me. But, I mean, maybe you should ask yourself why it's so important to you. If I were Curly, I would want to know. And I aren't a couple. We only got married for some stupid reason of Brenda's, and we got divorced as fast as we could. Brenda never mentioned me to you, did she? We don't tell each other much. You know, Brenda was going to marry me, and then she broke it off because there was some man that she couldn't get over, and obviously that man is you. No, it's not me. You know, if it helps at all, Brenda thinks that the two of you have no future, but I'm sure that you could convince her otherwise. Uh, you don't understand. I'm, no, I'm I do you I'm understand. Not... And I think that you just need to appreciate that you're getting a second chance. I just need you to swear to me that you're going to keep Brenda happy. I'm just concerned about a friend. But you seem awfully calm about the man who claims to love you escorting a famous model to parties in Rome. Come on, I'm not thrilled about it, but I know how Jason feels about Brenda. The best I can say is he's probably just tolerating the situation. Well, this whole thing seems to have come out of nowhere, right? Well, Jax, if this is keeping you up at night, maybe you should <laughs> give her a call. What, are you a little upset that she chose Jason as her emergency contact instead of you? That's what it is, isn't it? You wish you were in Rome, saving Brenda. Wrong. Jax and I are back together and we're happy. He doesn't care about Brenda at all. Do you, Jax?